Our public couples therapy. You have to accept the fact that you will disappoint us. I'm addicted to smiles. <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome to Adulting with Joyce Spring. Watch the full video of this episode on my channel, www.youtube.com slash TV. And if you want to level up your adulting game, check out joyspring.com slash collections for my digital products and courses. What's up, you guys, and welcome to another episode of Adulting with Joyce Spring. We've got superstar, Ooh, grabe naman yung superstar. best supporting actor. Padre Salvi picture tayo. <laughs> Pakikwento, ano yung background ng phrase na Pad- Padre picture tayo? Si Liam kasi, very observant siya. So, Too smart for his own good. Kapag uh, may nagpapapicture sa akin at kasama ko siya, ang naririnig niya, Padre Salvi, picture tayo. Tapos hanggang ngayon, nililoko niya ako ng Padre Salvi, picture tayo. Yun yung sinasabi niya sa akin. Bigla siya pupunta sa gilid ng mukha ni Juan siya. Padre Salvi, picture tayo. Oo, lalo na kung may hawak siyang camera. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos nung one time, wala siyang hawak na camera. Manan lang siya ng kamay niya. Kinop niya <laughs> <laughs> He pretended that he had a camera. Ah, what, a, what a smart kid. He is too smart for his own good sometimes. And so, so funny. But anyway, love, hi. Kamusta ka naman? Ito na lang tayo. Couples therapy na. <laughs> our public couples therapy. Yeah, and uh, our first uh, solo talk of the the week. <laughs> of, the, of the past three weeks. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe. It's been crazy in our home because it started off that we had three people on our home staff. Mm-hmm. So three people would assist us with the kids, with the dogs, mm-hmm. with taking care of the house, with the businesses, with everything. And then after we came home from Baguio, which was just three or four weeks ago, yeah. October 20. So, one one month ago na pala, no? Uh-oh. One month ago na, we had zero staff at home. Yeah, that was so. extremely difficult. Yeah, it's been extremely difficult. It's been a it's been a learning curve for most of us. But I think the best thing that has come out, out out of it, even though we weren't able to talk for the past three weeks, is that I have cooked more in the past three weeks than I have ever in my entire life. So, so sabi ko nga eh, binago ko na yung pangalan ko. Ano na? From Wancho to to Jack. Bakit Jack? Kasi Jack pa ako sa <laughs> Nagluluto na. Ano ba yung yun? Yung maganda, nagluluto. Ah, so before, na. hindi ko pa jackpot sa akin. Even more. Yun. So, kanailang ako palang i-earn pa yun. <laughs> Even more. Even more. You never win these conversations, yeah, yeah. na? It's There's never no gonna way. end. Yeah, it's never gonna end. But the good thing is, we do have a topic in mind for today that I feel like we both can talk well about. Because uh-huh. it's an issue that we both have different perspectives on. And it is... Ano ba yun? <laughs> being nice versus being a people pleaser. So this question was sent to us by at I am Super Mina from our community where she asked, what's the difference between being nice and being a people pleaser? So today we'll discuss how we can be authentic and nice without falling into the trap of constantly seeking for approval from others. Love, kung tatanungin kita to differentiate between being nice and being a people pleaser, what would you say is the difference? Um, the siguro the objective, di ba? Your your primary objective, kung nice ka lang, di ba? Kahit na you're saying no you're still polite, ganyan. Pero yung people-pleasing naman, on the other hand, you're just trying to appease other people. Diba? Na parang, uh, okay, I'll just give them what they want. Diba? That's your objective. As compared to being nice, you're sticking to to your guns. La, la, kung anong kalangan mo, kung anong paniniwala mo, or anong gusto mo rin, sinasabi mo at yun yung sinusunod mo, but nicely. Mm. I get that. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Meron akong challenge dito sa question na to. I feel like it should be, it's not being nice. Eh. I think it's more about being kind. 
Because being nice is not the same as being kind. Like, mm-hmm. for me, being a people pleaser is being nice. It's trying to appease people as what you're saying. Which is what being nice is to me. Na parang, minsan being nice is just being so appeasing even though hindi naman dapat in the situation. Or dapat nga mas firm yung boundaries mo or mas firm yung no mo. But being kind is very different from that. So, meron ko bang experience on being kind or versus being a people pleaser? Okay, so let's be completely <laughs> honest. Ikaw na, sige. Ikaw na magsabi. <laughs> ano? That I struggle with this? <laughs> I do struggle with this. With what? With people pleasing. Mm-hmm. Siguro it's something that I've been wired with uh, since I was a I was a child. So why would you say how would you why do you think you th- you struggle with people people pleasing? Like what are the what are the ways that you struggle with people pleasing? I think that's a better question. Um I I don't like people getting disappointed at me. Like mm. sobrang kilala mo si Michael Scott, diba? Nung The Office. I've been recently watching The Office. Binging The Office recently. Who's Michael Scott there? Si, you know, si Steve, uh, Steve Carell. Steve okay. And sobrang intense ng people pleasing niya. <laughs> to a fault. Uh, okay. To a fault. I have a little bit of that in in me. Na parang ayokong makakita ng nadi-disappoint sa akin. Mm-hmm. Or even you know, na, kahit yung mga people that we work with, I try to go out, really out of my way to a fault na rin na tinatry sila i-please. Siguro that stems from having a lot of siblings mm-hmm. and trying to fight for attention. <laughs> <laughs> and the little attention that I get nung bata pa ako, I've always felt na it was disappointment. Mm. Kasi nga, black sheep ako nung, nung unang panahon. <laughs> black sheep ka ba? Medyo. Medyo. Eh, syempre, ako, ako lang kasi hindi masyado maganda yung grades. Mm. Ako yung palaging na gagaidance uh, office. So, so, for context, yeah. si Wancho kasi yung only boy out of four siblings for the longest time. Si Anton kasi came parang, anong age gap mo kay Anton? Nine. Ten years? Nine, Nine years. So, for the longest time, si Wancho lang yung boy. And the three girls are obviously a lot like the generalized characteristics of girls. Very well-behaved, you know, magaling sa school. <laughs> so, si Juan, so kaya niya sinasabi yun. Kasi siya lang yung only boy nga naman in the th- with the three girls who are very top-notch even when they were kids. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then? Well, well kahit hindi against my sisters, eh. kahit even against my classmates during that time. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom half talaga ako, all, all the time. Pero, uh, yeah, <laughs> top three, uh, pero uh, ano. At saka proud ako dun. <laughs> Kasi, I, I did pretty well for myself, despite that. <laughs> <laughs> I set a low bar, uh, and uh, I surpassed it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, well, syempre kasi during that time, I've always I've 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 seen my parents get disappointed at me. And syempre lalo na nung getting away from that 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 uh siguro that that time na rin, yung tumatanda na ako. Uh I've I've made a lot of bad decisions as well. So nakikita ko rin na, na disappoint. Pero syempre not all the time. Yeah. I feel like siguro na ingrain na lang din sa akin 'yun na during those moments of disappointment uh, ng parents ko, uh, feeling ko to an extent, it it made me strive to always want to please them. Mm-hmm. Feeling ko yan. Kaya kahit sa, ano eh, kahit sa mga, nahirapan ako sa, sa showbiz during my, uh, during when I was starting, kasi I was always trying to perform and not be truthful truthful to myself. Mm-hmm. And that was extremely difficult. Kasi walang authenticity. Hindi yeah. totoo. I was just, you know, tinitingnan ko yung itsura nila. Ano itsura nila pina- kapag pinapanood ko. And that's not, ano, that's uh, not a very good uh, practice to have. Lalo na kapag nasa ganong industriya ka. This Christmas, let's amplify the spirit of giving. Share the priceless gift of love by sponsoring a child through World Vision. As we gather with our loved ones, let's extend the love to those in need. We invite you to be the hope these children need. 
By doing so, you're not just offering financial support, you're sharing them the love and care they all deserve. In a world of challenges, your act of kindness can be the hope they need to move forward. We understand that life's responsibilities can be overwhelming, but sometimes it only takes a small gesture to make a big impact. And you are not alone in this. Together, we can give them a brighter future. This season, let's go beyond the traditional festivities and embrace the true spirit of giving. Visit worldvision.org.ph to learn how you can sponsor a child this Christmas. Let's make this Christmas unforgettable for a child in need and share the priceless gift of love. That makes sense. Do you think I have people-pleasing attributes? Yeah, yeah. No, but do you think it's a problem that they have people-pleasing? No. You don't. You, hindi kasing intense nung akin. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about then how you've dealt with it. Because I feel like, honestly, it's something that you personally have started to grow out of. I mean, slowly but surely. Um, me personally, I don't have this need to people please. Actually, sometimes to a fault naman yung sa akin. Na parang, ah, kung ay mo diwag. Mm-hmm. Ganun na akong type of person na. I don't care what you think. I will do things the right way. And I, if I know in my heart, and if I know that God sees that it is with integrity, and that it is truthful, and that it is dignified, I don't care what you think, as long as I think I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. Which, to a fault, has gotten me into a lot of trouble also. Because I'm like, I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm And that's one of the things that my parents struggled with naman with me because they couldn't keep me under control in the sense that I would just keep making decisions and I was very strong-headed and I didn't care if they approved of it or not. Yeah. I just wanted to be excellent in whatever it was that I was doing and it and it's not a good thing because I would step on people, people's toes, people's hearts, people's souls just to achieve this vision of excellence that I had for myself and that also is not a good thing. So any extreme of not people pleasing at all and people pleasing extremely is not good. So how do we become kind then? Not just nice but kind. Because nice is also appeasing other people and trying to make them like you and make decisions that will make them like you. How do you become kind and stray away from people pleasing while at the same time not going to the extreme that I would do which is I don't care what you think I'm just gonna do the right thing siguro from experience like you mentioned nagkaroon nga ako ng konting improvement from before siguro it's uh, the balance of accountability and knowing your priorities mm. uh, because I'm accountable to you and of course the kids you guys always have to come first that's where the ano, the um, the priorities come in so kapag may i'm tempted to please other people and if it steps on the needs or the pri- my priorities tinitigil ko na talaga right away that's good that's a good one um i would go with a tip that i would give would probably be to stick to your guns, especially if you know that you're doing the right thing. And I know that is hard to do, pero kailangan mong magkaroon ng parang bigger perspective. Like, you have to look beyond the right now. And I love the saying na, will this matter in five years? Will this matter in five weeks, in five months, yeah. or in five years? Because, for example, you're about to make a decision that you know will disappoint people. But you know that it is the right decision and it's the right thing to do. And the only thing that's stopping you is because people will dislike you for it. And you have to ask yourself, will this matter in five weeks, in five months, or in five years? Mm-hmm. And may I share something that's very personal to our own okay. marriage? Na I had to sit one shot down because he was making decisions. And he would always tell me that I was to make decisions because I was disappointed. And I had to sit him down and say, Look, as a leader of this household, you have to accept the fact that you will disappoint us, me, 
or the kids at one point, at some point down the road, you will have to disappoint us because you will have to make hard decisions that we cannot make. You will have to make hard calls that will make us so pissed, but it's the right call to do. And I think with parenting, it's a lot of that, you know, like I have to accept the fact that there will be days that Eliam will scream at me and be mad at me and hate me because I'm not allowing him to have unlimited screen time or I'm not allowing him to eat cake before dinner or have a cookie before lunch. But I don't care. I mean, I do care that my kid loves me and likes me, diba? Right? But I care more about what's actually good for him. And I think that's one of the things that we have to look at when you are prone to people pleasing. Kailangan mong makita yung beyond the situation that you're in right now. Kasi pag naka-focus ka dun sa I'm gonna see their disappointed faces, he's gonna cry, we're gonna have such a bad day. Hindi mo makikita yung long term na he's gonna be addicted to screens, he's gonna be sugar loaded, he's gonna have a hard time tempering his desires if I don't start with the small habits of making the right decision even if it doesn't make people feel good. Yeah. Well, magkaibang bagay na yung ano yun, no? towards the kids. Uh, Pero but it's the same. Pa din Pero yun. it's the same. Magkaiba and the same at the same yeah. time. So parang, there, syempre, isang malaking layer for for us as parents yung Meron tong, meron tong implications in the future. But if you do try to do this kunyari, to an adult that you don't really have any uh, connections with, just like what I do sometimes, uh, nag-iba nag yung implications. Kasi halos wala, di ba? But that's the thing. So, yun nga, you ask yourself, okay, I'm trying to please this person, but will this person matter in the next five years? In the next mm-hmm. five months, di ba? Yeah. So, parang yun yung general thought ko of concept. Like, we're trying to please people right now and make decisions that will make them feel good, right? You know what it is? What? I'm addicted to smiles. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so silly. <laughs> okay. You're addicted to the applause. Hindi, <laughs> hindi <laughs> yung smile. Making other people smile brightens up my day. <laughs> so, sobrang walang sense backtrack 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 back back. <laughs> real back real back hindi <laughs> pero yun totoo naman uh, oh, but you're, you're right like if you have an addiction to wanting to see people happy yeah. means that you're gonna keep doing things that are so bad for you just to get them yeah pwedeng yun or syempre you. sometimes hindi natin na, na, na notice pero it makes us feel good when you when you say you see them happy so parang uh, ano yung nakukuha natin doon para na-affirm tayo to an extent. And that's where we get affirmation. Parang, yeah, dito ko nakukuha yung worth ko na parang nakikita ng mga tao na may, bini, may nabibigay at man, may nakokontribute ako sa buhay nila na positively. So that's a really good point. You have to ask yourself, where is the people pleasing coming from? And yeah. how can you address that root problem because you're right that eh? people pleasing isn't just about the arbitrary decisions that you're making right now it's related to your worth as a person yeah like you think that you have more worth when people smile around you when people approve of the decisions that you're making and that's why you keep doing it yeah but it's extremely hard get ngayon alam na natin just like with any other wiring of uh of kahit hindi necessarily uh, people pleasing any other fo- probably to an extent faulty wiring of a of a human being stems from uh, years and years of possibly trauma and experiences diba? positive or negative experiences that made them like that diba? yeah. so parang mahirap siya pero the, num- the number one step would always be diba? you knowing it mm. and actively you know, trying to do something about it. Nice. Okay, well, final notes. Final notes about people pleasing versus being kind. I think for me, if I may say, lastly, it's really hard to stop people pleasing unless you know that you have value 
beyond the decisions that you make that make others feel good. And yun nga eh, you have to figure out talaga ano ba yung standard that you're trying to live up to. Is the standard that you're trying to live up to the standard of the seal of approval from your parents, the seal of approval from your employers or your boss or your friends? Or is the standard absolute truth and morality and, you know, having this like larger yeah. perspective? Because if not, it's really hard to make tough calls that will make other people not like you for at the moment. Yeah. And I think a lot of young people because they would message the podcast and one of the things that I would always get is should I listen to my parents with this um, decision that they want me to make or yun nga halimbawa yung parang uh, gusto pa rin humingi ng money ng parents ko pero may sarili na akong pamilya ganyan ganyan and I think the, the thing that's missing from that is there's really not a guideline of what should be right and wrong ang nagiging guideline lang is the emotions that people have about the yeah. decision. But in reality, our decision making will always be faulty if it's based on solely emotions. If it's solely based on emotions. So we have to figure out, okay, how do I start making decisions that's based on truth? Yeah. And absolute moral standards. And I think the only way to do that in my experience and in the worldview that we believe in is really through the Bible, di ba? So, kung meron ka ng standard of good and evil, standard of what the truth is, standard of the way that we should be living, it's a little easier to make those decisions even if you know that it won't please a lot of people because meron kang pinaniniwalaan. So, kailangan mo ma-figure out kung ano yun na pinaniniwalaan mo. How we can uh, say the, the truth in love Mm-hmm. And yun nga, parang how, how we also lead other people towards Christ and Christ-likeness is a good metric to, to follow when it comes to these kinds of decisions. Siyempre, hindi mo ma, malalaman on the fly yan. So, yun nga, maganda yung sinabi mo na parang, we step back ka muna. Step back. Let me think about it. Let me yeah. pray about it. And then, uh, di ba, ask God to, to help you with the decision. And He will. Mm. Yun. That's your last point? Yeah. Cool. Oh, I, have well, that. <laughs> I have to practice that. I have to practice that more. We both have to practice more. that more and more. But yeah, that's it for this episode of the podcast. We're trying to keep it under 20 because I feel like if we keep on going, it's going to be an hour and a half long. And there are two kids waiting for us downstairs. <laughs> So, so we, we got to keep it going. We got to keep it moving. Um, but hopefully this episode is something that you guys enjoyed. And if you want to hear more of this, let us know at Adulting with Joyce Spring. Hashtag Adulting with Joyce Spring. At Juancho Trevino and at Joyce Spring. Wonderful. See you on the next one. Paalam. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's it for this episode of Adulting with Joy Spring. If you liked this podcast, please don't forget to use the hashtag Adulting with Joy Spring and also check out www.joyspring.com for the show notes and tag me on social media, whether you know it, at Joy Spring. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Paalam! <laughs>